This is the Dragon Handle System, as we previously mentioned. Uh, it's a small compact tool that has uh, multi-use. It's constructed out of tech tape, tubular nylon, at approximately 4,500 pound brake strength. Uh, on the distal end, we have an NFPA rated carabiner, non-locking. In the middle, we have a floating bull ring. And then we have two flexible handles up at the top. Right below these two handles, we have two reinforced loops that we'll show the utilization for. That you can fit a carabiner in between the two to shorten up the distance from you and the casualty. We'll now go through a head first and feet first extraction. A lot of times people ask what is the best uh, route to extract a casualty from, whether it's the feet first or the head first. Really whatever part of the anatomy you get to on that casualty is what you're going to want to extract them from. Scientifically showing physics, if you extract them from the middle or from the belt, it's your least effective way of uh, extracting them. By extracting from the feet or the head first, we're able to create angles and decrease body surface friction in doing so, decreasing the drag that we're going to have to pull. One valid point that is brought up uh, since the 1998 meeting of the Committee on Tactical Combat Casualty Care when they published a paper on October 25th of 1999 showed an issue with when retrieving a uh, casualty, what are we going to do with that casualty's weapon? The last thing we want to do is add something more onto us. When we're utilizing the rat strap or the dragon handle system, one option that we always have is with this floating bull ring or on one of the loops. We can always take that uh, casualty's uh, weapon, loop that sling, loop it right into the floating bull ring or onto one of the loops that is already on the rat strap. That way we're removing the casualty and we're removing the casualty's weapon, not leaving it behind for any hostile combatants to utilize.